Hi, it's Mike from Mike's Unbox and Reviews on How To, and on today's video, we're going to show you how to do multi cam editing in Adobe Premiere. This is from Adobe Premiere version 24, so depending when you're watching this, the version may have changed slightly. So if it has drastically, let me know in the comments and I'll try and redo the video. But otherwise, you should find the principles are exactly the same. So, what is multi cam editing? So, if you've got multiple sources for the same part of the footage, so say for instance, you've got a face on view and also you've got an overhead camera or maybe a different angle, close ups, that kind of thing. You want to edit those together and do it as easily as possible. Now, Adobe Premiere in the past has made it easier and then sometimes it's made it more difficult. I find actually a pretty decent way of doing it, which is using the nesting method. And I think it's going to be pretty useful for you guys out there who are possibly struggling with it as I have been recently. So let's go to the computer and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so we're on our Windows 11 desktop. So let's fire up our Premiere project. So this is actually a template that I make for pretty much all videos, but the principle is going to be the same. So what we want to do first of all is import our camera footage. So we're going to go over to the project bin over here, double click, and I'm going to go into this one, which I've already created, which is how to multi-cam edit. And we've got two files in there. So let's open up the first one and then we'll get the second one. You can select them both at the same time if you want to, the choice is yours. So what I would suggest to do first of all is make sure that the one with your primary audio clip, if you're only using one lot of audio, so this is going to be direct from camera. So I'm going to put that as my first track and the overhead camera is going to be our secondary. If you've got additional audio tracks, you can add those in below and I generally mute the secondary tracks anyway, just in case. So we've got our footage onto the timeline. So now what we want to do is to make sure that it all matches up because if you're editing and you're switching between different sources, you want them to be in sync. So just press down the left mouse button and select all of your footage, right click and choose synchronize. You could then have the option of clip start and time codes. I'm gonna go with audio and we wanna to go to track channel one, which is our primary, click on okay. This will think for a little while and there we go. So now our clips are lined up, as you can see, so all the peaks are in the right places. So I'm going to expand this a little bit more and you can see there is our claps at the beginning. So I'm actually going to trim some of this to start with. So we can use our cutting tool and we use that as our in point. So that is our in point there. If you want to, you can drag it right to the very end. So if you like to uh, keep things neat, nice and neat and tidy, you can do. I've got the uh, overlay, etc. there. So this is uh, looking pretty good so far. So what we need to do next is to actually remove the other audio track. You can choose to do this if you want to. I find it makes life easier because we're going to be nesting these. So it will kind of incorporate it. So highlight the audio clip that you don't want, right click and choose unlink. So now we can choose that entire clip and press backspace or delete and get rid of that entirely. So that's great. So now we've got our top camera, our lower camera and our audio track. So now we can select all of this again, right click and now we want to choose nest. And you can call it something if you want to. I'm just going to call it clip one, click OK. And you can see it's changed color. So now we have nested tracks, but we need to now enable multi-cam editing. So again, highlight our track, right click and choose multi-camera and choose enable. And you'll see magically our underneath clip has come up. And ideally we want to see both at the same time so we can see which we're actually controlling and what is actually on screen. So go over to the spanner icon over on the far side settings for display. And then in this section, you've got the option for composite view, alpha or multi-camera or comparison. So we're going to go with multi-camera and there, as if by magic, we have now got both of our sources. So if we scroll down the timeline, you can see what is actually going on there. So we've got an overhead view and we've got the forward cam. So you're probably thinking, well, that's great. So how do I switch between the two? So this is camera one, this is camera two, and you can control that by using either the number one and number two on your keyboard or you can just click on the relevant one. So when you're actually playing in the timeline, so let's show you this as a demonstration. So we can press play and it's gonna start playing this clip here. If we click on this one, it's gonna play this one. So it starts off, we've got the motherboard. So you can see how that is working. 
And let's get to a part where we want to do some cutting. So press play. Op 2 drive. Now at this point, you're going to be very tempted to carry on. And we can switch to this source here. Together. I would certainly recommend against doing that because of how compact it is and somewhat cramped when it's actually all fully assembled. And when we want to change camera view, really good idea to start we can click here. Cables already, just so that you can actually get. When we press stop, you can see now the actual segments there are split. So depending on what camera it is that you've switched to, it will show you the appropriate camera view. So maybe after these, you actually want to change these a little bit because they're not quite as you wanted. So let's zoom in a little bit here. So you can press N on the keyboard, then this will give you your rolling edit tool. So then what you can do is you can just go to where your edit needs to be. So say for instance, this particular frame here, I want this frame to be a little bit longer. I've, I have cut into that a little bit late. We don't really need to see that section there. So we'll go from there and just drag that all the way back to there. And there we go. So that has extended that clip now. So it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward thing to do. You can make some very small, fine adjustments should you wish to. The choice is yours, but uh, yeah, essentially you can choose between your channels by just clicking on the appropriate channel. And of course you can see your playback right on the good. timeline straight away anyway. So there we go, there is a uh, relatively straightforward way of actually editing multicam footage. Some people do it in some bizarre ways and all kinds of manual edits, which takes absolutely forever, which is why I've avoided it for such a long time since they took away the really nice feature they had in Premiere ages and ages ago, about three years ago. But now it seems a lot easier with its nesting method. Hopefully it improves your video editing workflow and speeds things up for you. So if you found this video helpful, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, then maybe consider hitting the subscribe button, and then you can click on the chime button, that way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.